Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be reviewing four multimeters that were given to me from a company called Banggood, which I'm sure you've heard of. Um, I'm going to put the links in the description, so if you wish to buy them you could. They're encouraging me to do affiliate links, which I've never done before. It doesn't really interest me that much, but um, we'll see. I always encourage people to shop around to get the best value, so that might not necessarily come through me. I don't know. Anyway, so this is my old multimeter. And unfortunately this has died now. I have three multimeters and this is the best of the three. By far the best of the three actually. It's by a company called UniT. This is UT30B. It's an old model uh, but still this is going to be the uh, benchmark if you like for all the other tests. Um, so what do we want in a multimeter and who's this uh, directed towards? It's directed towards enthusiasts like me for Arduino and stuff like that. Um, and there might be um, some relevance to people who have a small interest in electrics. Again, like me. I use these for, uh, you know, if I ever fit a socket or something, or I need to diagnose something, or I need to check a plug or a device or whatever. So this kind of video will probably be for you. The four items that I've been given, I've got the boxes, I've got them. I've checked them for about two days, played around with them, and I'm going to show you them in a minute. But first I'll need to show you the links, and um, I'll go back to my computer to show you that. Okay, so this is the first one. Mustool MT13 Mini Smart Multimeter, blah, blah, blah. It's actually got five, a 5 out of 5 rating. Okay. Uh, there's the price. These are the details, which to be honest... I don't really care about the exact details because it will become more obvious when I come to test it whether it's going to work or not. I don't really need the exact details, although it's handy to have the resolution and stuff I suppose. But there's the um, there's the first one. Uh, that's what it can do. Second one, Anang AN113D, Intelligent Auto Measure, blah blah blah, only £13. 46 and there's a picture of it. Uh, and we've got the details again. Um, okay, then we've got the Anang 618C digital, £18.70. And there's a picture of this one, of course. And the details. We have the Anang 620A, which looks like it's a bigger one, £18.70. There's a picture of it. Again. What does it say about this one? AC current, DC current, etc. Some more details there. And they haven't sent me this one. This is one that's similar, this is the updated version of the one that I've got that's broken. But this is £11.44, it's not auto ranging. But I would like to include this one anyway. And there are the details again, but it doesn't really, oh it can do capacitance test. There are the details. And these are the five that I'm going to compare, so go back over to the camera now and let's see what happens. I've done this table to help me um, analyse the results of what I've found. But anyway, first thing I'm going to do is introduce you to the first one. So this is Mustool MT13. And generally speaking, I would say this is fairly good quality. The buttons are easy. You can easily cycle through the menus. It has an auto mode. Um, the software on it is quite good. You can you can apparently uh, check capacitance, although it doesn't really work, it's not accurate. But other than that, it's fairly good. It can't take, check amperage either, um, which is a bit of a deal breaker, unfortunately, for this particular um, multimeter. It's fairly okay quality, apart from that. It also has these leads here, which are not generic. So what it means is that when you break the leads you have to get non-generic leads which I'm not sure where you would get them from and how much they would cost. One of the good things about this is that it has a lithium battery and you charge it by USB-C. 
So I expect that that battery would probably last the lifetime of this thing and you wouldn't have to change batteries, I imagine. But like I said, the problem with this is that um, even though it's reasonably full featured for a multimeter with no contact voltage and all that sort of stuff, capacitance doesn't work and more importantly amperage, uh, it just isn't there, you can't test amperage with it. Um, which is very bad. So £16 and you can't check amperage, it's pretty much an instant fail, even though it's reasonable quality. The next one is this one. This is the Aneng AN113D. This is a really good multimeter for the price. So this is £13 and this genuinely is a really good one. In fact, this is the best of them all, I would say. So in this one you just select the mode, so volts, millivolts, ohms, hertz, amps or milliamps. And in each of the modes there's a sub-mode. So you can select, for example, ohms, then press cell and it goes through them. So this is the diode test or continuity test. Um, farads. This is the only one which has a capacitance test that works accurately. This is the only one out of the four. Well actually I could say the five because um, this one doesn't have a capacitance test. Although the new model, which is the Unity UT33D, might do. More on that later though. But yeah, generally speaking, this is a really good one. The problem with this one, well it's not really a problem, but the back is very flimsy, you see? That's a bit of a cheap build. The rest of it is really good though. Um, I suppose some, at some point through the video I'll have to show you. But then again, I suppose you already know how to measure voltage. So it says 50 hertz there, I'll go over to voltage. 9.89 volts. Simple as that. Now if I check, put this on auto mode, hang on, auto mode. Now I'm going to check live AC voltage now. Ready? 256 volts, can you see that on the screen? Perfect. So this is the Anang AN113D, it's £13. That's a really good multimeter for the price. And the next one is the Anang 618C, which is this one. Now, I don't have a lot of good things to say about this one. So the build quality is quite poor. The plastic here isn't flush. It feels poor. It has an LED to presumably help you see what you're doing, but the LED is so dim that you can't, it's pretty much useless. Um, when you press on the screen, it's like not glued down properly or something, and, it, and there's a bit of play in it. The buttons are all over the place. Um, as you can see there, I'm not even pressing the button, and it clicks. It's, pr it's pressing one. Um, the, the, the menus don't make any sense. When you go through, there's capacitance on here, but they don't go in that order. There's also capacitance there. Sometimes the buttons don't work fully. The leads are not changeable, so when you damage the leads, then what? They're not particularly good quality leads either. Um, the user experience in general is quite bad. The screen's dim, very dim. Now if I turn the lights off it might be okay, I'm not sure if it's lit. Yeah it is lit. In the dark it's actually it actually looks quite good. But it's a shame about it's a shame about all this lot. Maybe if you got used to it it probably would be okay. You know if you started using it every day. But yeah, the menus don't really make much sense. The live NCV and the rest of it do work. Capacitance doesn't work on this. Um, and again, very, very importantly, like the other one, there's no amperage. There's no amperage, so you can't measure amps, which is a big no-no straight away. So unfortunately, I can't recommend that one either. That one's £18, so I definitely wouldn't get that for £18. The next one is this one. This is Anang 620A. And this one's okay. I've written there the build quality is low to medium. I would say it's actually more medium. It's not terrible build quality. 
This thing here doesn't really do anything. It's hard, it's not a soft rubber thing. It'll probably stop it from getting scratched, which I don't know if, if that's if it's really worth it. I mean you don't really worry about your multimeter getting scratched, you care more about it getting smashed by dropping it, which this isn't gonna offer any protection like that. The buttons are fairly good and make sense. You've got an off button, you've got this one to hold, if you want to hold a value to write it down later. You've got a backlight. Hold it to get the backlight. And that's quite good. So say you were working on electrics at midnight and there was no light at all. <coughs> this would save you. <coughs> Personally for me though I don't work on electrics in the dark but there you go. Um, and I wouldn't either. Especially not um, AC voltage. Anyway, turn that off. So in terms of cycling through the menus, it's quite easy. So we've got resistance, we've got diode check, we've got capacitance. Capacitance doesn't work on this, by the way. I've tested them all, and the only one that can actually do capacitance is the Anang AN113D. So we've got this live mode, which is where you put the probe onto a wire to see if it's live or not. And this should be NCV as well. How do you get NCV on? There we go, NCV. NCV basically is a wireless way to uh, see if uh, something's live or not. And there you go, it's beeping. So you put it next to something live and it beeps. Um, to be honest, they've all got that sort of feature. This one, this one has it too. They all do, really. And they all work okay. Um, yeah. So one thing that I don't like about this one is that the menu seems a bit, this here seems a bit too cluttered. Um, but it's basic, it works. The good thing about this one is that if you can't see very well, you know, by the eyesight or something, this one's probably the best. Possibly. See how big the letters are, the characters. So that's that one. That one's okay. But for £18, I'm not so sure, really. It's okay. The next one, Unity... UT33D. So I, cheat, I cheated a little bit on this one because this is UT30B, which is my old five year old one, um, which is broken at the moment. But I've checked the new one, and the new one is about £11. It's not auto ranging. So when you come to select, or you know, when you want to measure a voltage, for example, you have to select the voltage that is just higher to it. It's a bit of a peculiar thing for a multimeter, and probably hard for somebody new to understand, but that's what you have to do. So for example, let's say you're measuring a, measuring a resistor and you don't know what uh, resistance it might be, you can sort of guess and if you think well it's probably less than 20k, you start at 20k and then if it's less than 2k you go to 2k. Anyway, I don't want to go into that too much but um, the Unity UT33D has this manual uh, range thing where you have to select the range. Of course the other ones this one doesn't, it's auto ranging and all the rest are auto ranging as well but in terms of quality this is medium to high quality the buttons are really simple the same as, the same as the uh, AN113D um, the new one of these does have NCV which is no non-contact I'm not sure if it has capacitance um, but still it's a very good quality one especially for around about £11 All in all, um, you know, where do we stand with these? Well, for somebody like me who's playing with Arduino, general purpose stuff, maybe a bit of electrics, although this is a reasonable quality, it's a no, because it can't do amperage. So I would have to say no to that one. This one is the same. Just skipped one here, but this one's the same, 618C, no amperage. Plus, it's got quite a poor build quality, and it's beeping at me now. Got a poor build quality, smart, mu 80 meter. I wouldn't get that one. Going to this one here, Anang AN113D, this is the best. This is definitely the best. Now, out of the four that I reviewed, it's £13 as well, so it's also the cheapest. So it's the best build quality. I would say it's the, it's the best in total for pretty much everything. Um, so, 
what was gonna what was I gonna say about this one? Oh yeah, capacitance. This is the only one of the four that can actually measure capacitance accurately. Um, the other ones can't. Um, what else can I say about this one? The back there is a bit flimsy. It's a bit rubbish. But other than that, this is a really good unit. It's simple to use too. And uh, what have we got next? This one, an Ng six twenty A. Anything this one can do, the one that I've just shown you can probably do better in my opinion. Um, what I would say about this one though, is that if you can't see, if you have problems looking at the screen, this one is actually quite good. I would say it's not as good in terms of menu, user interface, uh, user experience, that sort of thing. But the advantage is that it has a backlit screen, you can turn that on and it also has the, the big digits. This one, um, of course, it was it was based on the Uni-T UT33D. This is a very, very good quality one, although it's not auto-ranging. So you have to know what you're doing with this. Which, if you do know what you're doing with it, it's really simple anyway. And that would be £11 as well. Generally speaking, though, if you want an auto-ranging one, and you don't want to pay too much money, this one is the way to go. Um, this is the best one, and it's really simple to use. Uh, and for £13, I would say it's a, it's a bargain, really. So yeah, out of all of these, the only one I would really recommend, especially for my own use, would be this one. Um, of course, I, che I kind of cheated a little bit with this one, but the modern up-to-date version of that would probably be okay too. Well, it'd probably be very good too, but it's not auto-ranging, whereas this one is. So, for £13, I'm going to say that this one is a very good one. So it's called the Anang AN113D. Thanks for watching. Bye!